two minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, for the sake of the players and spectators, please turn off your mobile telephones. Also, do not use flashlight photography. Finally, if you leave your seat at any time during the match, please take all your belongings with you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Sampras won the toss and chose to serve. Time. Sampras to serve, first set, play. Ah. 15 run. Thirty fifteen. Fourteen fifteen. Game samples. First game.
Great man to serve. Fifteen all. Fifteen thirty. Fifteen forty. Thirty forty. Thank you. One game over. Fifteen left. Forty nine. Sampras leads two games to one, first set.
tight. Love 15. Love 40. Left, second service. Left, second service. Fifteen forty. Well, yet again, from the break point, he comes into the net and there's a fine backhand volley into the corner. Thirty forty. Advantage straight there. Advantage, great man.
for service. Two games all. The umpire's lost his pencil. Can you believe it? <laughs> Don't think Mr. Sampras is amused. Who's got a pencil? Shall we send him out from the car to box? <laughs> Lovely. One of his linesmen obliges. One of the lighter moments of Wimbledon 97. Goodness knows we need a few. Two. Fifteen well, although the number one seed, Pete Sampras, has been holding his serve quite readily, he's failed with five break points against the Drakeman serve. Two in the second game, three in the fourth game. Fifteen all. One year old from Bielefeld in Germany. Thirteen fifty. Solid today, Sampras as he moves in and look how easily he plays that volley not that easy m mind you Forty fifty. Game Sampras. <laughs> Sampras leads three games to two. First set. Sampras winning that game with his fourth ace today. And Mark, he does look a formidable player when he's serving well. Yes, it, one of the facilities of this man, he makes the game look so easy. And uh, I remarked uh, earlier there that the ball hand volley. Uh, uh, he was a simple shot. Actually, it wasn't that simple at all. It was he made it look simple, and uh, he plays in such a compact, composed, and controlled way. And really, seldom does anything which is risky. And that must make it very difficult to break his serve. But of course, his serve's one of the great shots in the game. There's no question about that. It's not the sheer power of it. It's his facility to place it around the service box and the accuracy, especially of his second serve. But the young German here, 21 years of age, I think he's taken uh, Sampras a little bit by surprise because he clearly is very forceful from the back of the court and he's done well to save two services where he's, he's had break points against him. But it's the sort of match that he has everything to go for, nothing to lose. He can enjoy it. Fifteen love. Fifteen all. Fifteen 
40-15. Deceptively good server, this man. He's tall, of course, six foot two, one inch taller than Sampras. And strong. Forty thirty. That is an area of his game which sometimes mars his performances, the double faults, because he hits the second serve hard, rather like Mark Philippoussis does. The Australian, the young Australian. Game break moment. Three games all, first set. This was the man who beat Greg Rosetsky at the US Open last year and uh, really knocked him off the court. Fifteen love. Well, that uh, smash actually didn't come quite out of the center of the racket, but it landed in. Second service. Oh. Thirty love. Let for service. You ball. Well, this return Sampras from the forehand side through. was slightly mishit, and Sampras was certainly moving to uh, go to, to change ends. But when it bounced, it bounced much closer to the line. And look, you can see the lines person there just indicating the ball was in. So it must have been an overrule from the chair by umpire Kim Craven. But uh, Rickman didn't seem to be overly fussed by it. And uh, Sampras methodically holding his serve and methodically here just attending to the grip of his racket. Why did they do that? Well, the reason for that, John, is that, uh, you know, that obviously the <laughs> having a good grip on the racket is as important as the strings uh, to control the racket head on those difficult shots. Uh, you need to have the, uh, the good grip. It gives a good firm Time. fit into the hand so that the racket head control is uh, where the player wants it. And it, these days, of course, it's so easy to do it. You can do it on the change of ends. So it's uh, rather like having a new racket almost immediately. So with the new balls, we're uh, going to serve 3-4, first set. Love. Remarkable the way this court is bouncing so well and true and hard and fast. Rather firmer, I think, than the center court was earlier today. Oh. 
ta ti la Sampras must, must now be wishing that he'd achieved a break earlier in the set when he had um, five break points, two in the first service game of Drakeman and three in the next. Um. 30-15. Game break mode. Four games all, first set. Well, this is getting uh, to a point where Sampras will be just a trifle anxious because Drakeman's one of the better servers in this tournament and just the sort of man, just the sort of game to cause upsets. 15 left. Yes, getting a good high percentage of first balls in and that is fifth ace. Thirty love. Forty love. Almost as an afterthought, Kim Craven decides that the lady here had missed it. Reacting to the players, really, that's what he was doing. Game Sampras. <laughs> Sampras leads five games to four, first set. And Mark, there are umpires, it seems to me, who follow what the players do. In other words, if a player knows it's out and sort of signals it, he'll follow if he's not sure. Well, I think it's a dangerous thing, actually, for that, because uh, really they have to see it and call it as they see it. And if the lines person is actually unsighted, that is their job uh, to determine whether the ball is clearly in or clearly out. I think it's, it is easy for the umpires to actually fall into the trap sometimes of uh, reading what the players are indicating. And that can cause, cause uh, immense problems. Time. Fifteen love. Fifteen all. Forced into error, made to rush his shot. 
but he's played pretty darn well in this set, saving the five break points in his first two service games. Must have taken his eye off the ball. I mean, there was a winner for the picking. Well, he can certainly put the high volleys away with great ease. Sampras has uh, got to be a little careful. Jane Drakeman. Five games all, first set. And Drakeman drawing level in terms of aces. Five games all, five aces all. Fifteen love. All business is Sampras. Of he will have missed his practice like everyone else. Now this is Sorry. how to put away a high ball on the forehand. Look where it bounces, just about a foot inside the tram lines. Moves forward, watching the ball nicely struck in front of him. Thirteen fifteen. for service. Oh. Game samples. <laughs> samples lead six games to five, first set. Do you think that this particular match for Sampras poses anything of a real threat? I mean, could he lose? I think in his own mind he, he couldn't. I think he's playing this match as though he's trying to find his form, playing himself in. The history would tell us the last time they played uh, he had a fairly easily victory over Drakeman and that was in Baal in 1996 last year where he won 7-5-6-2-6 love. So that really was a very convincing win. I think though uh, he is in danger of, of of creating problems for himself because in the early part of the match he had a real opportunity to uh, get on top and now whilst he's the one game up is in danger of getting into a tie break and uh, Drakeman is a man who can certainly hit winners from all parts of the court and if he were to just uh, connect a couple of uh, on a couple of good ones Sorry. then there could be some problems and percentages there first serve for Drakeman 94% so that's pretty good the second serve, though, there we are, 41%. He needs to get his first serve into play. Let's pass us. Fifteen left.
Well, here's an effort, effortless return from Sampras from within his body, just directing the ball down the line. Look, hardly has to move his feet, just arches his body out of the way of the ball. Beautiful shot. Well, Sampras really having to deal with a difficult half volley, kept rather low. Not making all his forcing points, Sampras, at the moment. A few errors creeping in. Mind you, he's uh, going for big shots. Game break, man. Six games all, first set, tiebreak. Sampras will serve first in the tiebreak since he started serving in the match. He's failed on five break points on the Drakeman serve earlier. And now has it all to do here. 1-0. Nasty little slip. One all. I wonder if we can take a look at that again to see how it happened. Here it is. Look, just trying to push off to reach that short ball. And whoop. They wear shoes with little pimple rubber soles to them. Trying to get a good grip. Two, one, Drakeman. Something of a lottery at the best of times. The tie break. Just one little slip. And it's gone. Oh. 3-2, Sampras. Yes, there was a half chance there, but the ball did bounce very high on the second serve. was a complete mishit from Four, two, Pete Sampras seven. on the forehand side. It's quite a good volley. Look how deep it is, but it was a mishit, and he wanted it to go out, and it landed well in. A bit of wishful thinking on the part of Drakeman. And a bit of good fortune for Sampras.
didn't like that call. Appealing Five, two, to samples. On the line, he's saying, there, here's the gentleman who thought it was out and called it out. I'm not sure whether we'll see anything significantly. No, player in the way. But uh, clearly, Drakeman thinks he's been treated unjustly. It's 5-2 now. Six two samples. Second serve ace. Not bad at this juncture. Four set points. Game first set samples. Seven games for six. So after just thirty nine minutes, Sampras tucks it away on the tie break. Seven points to two. And I can't help feeling that it all went wrong for Drakeman when he made the error and left the ball that fell in. Yes, that uh, bit of bad judgment on his part. Though that's easy to happen with a miss hit. The flight is a bit difficult to judge. And uh, that certainly changed the pattern of the tie break. But the reality of it was in the early part of the match, uh, Sampras had his chance. 1540 on the first Drakeman serve, love 40 on the second. And that really was the time when Sampras perhaps could have uh, grasped the match. But I'm sure from his point of view, the practice that he's getting out here on the court number one, having had so little play on grass over the last few days, is just what he needs. He needs to hit lots of tennis balls to get his eye in. Second set, Drakeman to serve. So it's Drakeman to open the second set. Sometimes when that sort of close set has ended as it did, you get the winner running away with it. Fifteen all. Well, good tactics on the behalf of uh, Sampras to chip and charge to get in. Perhaps his approach was a little bit too short. Forty fifty. Second set. Brakeman well, yet to lose his serve, though of course he lost uh, some points on his serve in the tie break, but showing how impressive he can be. There's a good wide serve to the forehand, and look at the response right down the middle, and wrong footing Sampras. With Sampras there trying to slice the ball back, just couldn't gain balance or footing to get the ball back into play. Good wrong footing play by the German. But Pete Sampras really looking quite composed out there this evening. And there's the first uh, percentage, 73% for Sampras. And just uh, fairly lowly, 44 for the German, Drakeman. Which partly explains why Sampras in the first set lost only four points on his serve. Drakeman lost 12. Tyler. It also says, doesn't it, that uh, Drakeman won the important ones. Fifteen left. The ace is mount eight now, Sampras.
30 love. Forty love. Game, Sampras. Very professional game there. One game all, second set. And of course, this game is so easy if you can serve as well as this and hold your serve easily and just wait for the moment when you can pounce on your opponent's serve. Well, if only more people could do it. Fifteen love. Interesting tactics here from Sampras. He sees the half volley and so therefore moves forward with an attempt to take the uh, initiative from the man at the net. Does so successfully. Thirteen fifteen. Whoever said we don't have rallies on grass? Forty thirty. Again, great work. New balls, please. New balls. Great man leads two games to one second set. First set, Sampras. And the light going a little. You can always tell by the way the scoreboard lights appear to stare at you. And Sampras Mark was seemingly worried about his footing. When he, the game was over, he just sort of tested the surface with his shoe. Ladies and gentlemen, the players would appreciate it if you would not use flash photography during play. Well, Thank that you. gives an indication of, of the light on the court for the uh, automatic flash of cameras. But the tennis that we're seeing, really, uh, we're seeing some marvellous play by both parties. And uh, in the last game, on this point here, Drakeman serving. A, a good serve to the forehand. Look at the response from Sampras. The power of these shots, quite something. Now, both players trying to get into the situation of coming to the net. Sampras does so behind the slice back and has to really dig for that volley. But look at that pass. Tight. Under real pressure there, the German, and how well he responded. Still holding on to his serve. Sampras yet to break it. And score one, two. New balls. Sampras just waiting for the crowd to settle. A little bit of noise. just the power this man has he has delicate touch as well why well, he's such a complete player and why well, he's been the world number one at the end of the year for the last four years 30 love
Lovely shots. Lovely shots for Thila. That we about to see from Sampras. Absolute joy. Perfection, really. James Sampras. <laughs> Full of exuberance. It's all these uh, days he's had to spend at the hotel. Two games all. Second set. Going to be able to play it. Over exuberance showing itself. Here it is. A bit like the slam dunk smash that he has made his own. Two all, second set. Such a, a real inspiration in this Lovely. rally. Look at this backhand, the angle that he found. <laughs> I think everyone enjoyed that one, including Sampras, because it's a truly remarkable shot. What superb racket head control, because he was off balance, but his racket wasn't. Well. Love 30. So a little bit of light here for Sampras, perhaps. Love 30 on the Drakeman serve. Ah! Oh, that's so good. He's really raised his game, Sampras. Look at the return, not forcing the half. Volley. In fact, it was a volley, but how quickly he moved up to that short ball. Look, he comes really up to this ball, gets his racket back, his shoulder round, and gets the whole weight into it. 15 40. <laughs> Sampras again just testing the surface with his foot. I think he tried to push off and felt his foot skid again. The dew might be falling already. 30 40. Sampras, and it's an important Dude. point too because it's a break point. Sampras comes into the net behind a superb approach shot, but that's even better. Sometimes those easy looking volleys from miss hits aren't that easy at all because there's a lot of spin on the ball. Oh, the skill now as the boys get their timing is just remarkable. Sampras really has to get low to that one to direct the ball down to the line. His toes watching the ball zoning in really guides it beautifully. Inspired play by both oh, parties. Sampras really having to zip across the court there to pick that one up. But look at the accuracy of that. Game, great one. Breakman leads three games to two. Second set, first set samples. Well, what a marvellous game of tennis that was. Drakeman recovering from Love 40 under the utmost pressure from the world number one and coming through. It says an awful lot for Drakeman's 
nerve. It certainly does, and he's done it a lot in this match. He did it in the first set in a couple of games. Of course, it was decided by the tie break, but the uh, break points look eight of them for Sampras, and he has yet to convert one in actual fact. So, uh, full marks to Drakeman, playing well under pressure and playing some superb tennis. So both players taking, I think, a well-earned break after arguably the best game in the match, that last one. Some inspired play by both. Time. So this young German now needs to find a way of making some inroads into the Sampras serve. He hasn't really had any significant success in that regard. But uh, great players have had that same problem. Two, three. Fifteen love. Double figures now for Sampras. Fifteen all. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, no flash photography during the game. Thank you. Thirty fifteen. Forty thirty. Going to change his racket, perhaps he's taken out the little. Uh, device that sits in the throat of the racket and stops the vibration. I don't think it's broken. I think there was probably a string nearing breaking point. He didn't want it to happen in the middle of his service game. So it's 40-30. 40-30. Three games all, second set. Swinging the new frame. It won't be a new frame, of course, it's one he's been practicing with and using in past matches, but he has them all restrung regularly, particularly in weather like we've had with the damp weather. Fifteen love. In uh, damp weather, the moisture seems to get into the gut and the tension is lost. So they'll have their rackets restrung overnight. So sharp on the return is well inside the, the baseline, taking the ball early. Okay, and he takes it way in front of him too, posing all sorts of problems for Drakeman. 30-50. Forty fifteen. Forty thirty.
it is unlucky. The ball shot after it had bounced. Mm -hmm. If you look at this again, he had absolutely no chance. And it was such a good rally as well. Top spin on it. Gets, I think it actually hit the line. And that often happens when the ball hits a line. It skids. Advantage, Just a little bit concerned this last 20 minutes or so about slipping. Ah. Game break, man. Drakeman leads four games to three. Second set, first set samples. Because this question of danger on the court that is slippery is a considerable one for any player, but particularly for the uh, number one seed. Well, I think also it's not just the, the slipperiness, which is he's clearly now starting to lose his footing a little bit. It's the actual temperature too, so that, you know, muscle damage can occur. Because uh, Pete Sampras does travel with an entourage of people to help him. Uh, Todd Schneider is uh, very much a physiotherapist and trainer and, and deals to it with any niggling injury problems that Pete Sampras has and uh, ensures that he's in peak physical condition. That's uh, Todd Schneider. And his coach, Paul Anacone, who we'll see just uh, moving into our picture on the left there, uh, who really has been working now for the last uh, couple of years with uh, uh, Pete Sampras. And uh, he's a former tour player and a player of... Uh, vast experience and uh, gets on extremely well with Pete Sampras, a good motivator, and has been helping him uh, immensely and very successfully. But I think both of those gentlemen there would like to see Pete uh, get on with this match and get it out of the way. It's uh, proving to be a little bit more troublesome probably than they anticipated. 3-4. Now, both men have uh, discovered that that slice serve landing about halfway up the service line on a court as fast as this is almost impossible to return unless you guess right. 30 luck. Same one. So he did guess right, but nevertheless the pace beat him. The one thing you can't do is just stand still. You've got to decide from the toss which way he's going. If you can read it. And the difficult servers to face are those whose toss Wait, please. doesn't give the clue as to where the ball is going to be delivered. Game samples. Four games all, second set. So another easy service game. A couple of aces in it. Four games all. So the pressure beginning to mount. So Dortmund, when it gets to the net, is uh, very competent. Good wide serve, taking Sampras way out of court. He has to cover the full width, and they're solid as a rock at the net. Thirty-fifteen. 
Good player, this fellow. Left for service. Thirty old. Drayton not intimidated at all by the chip and charge play by Sampras. Game break, man. Drake leads five games to four. Second set, first set, Sampras. Well, now it looks to me as if this is going to be another tie break because neither man has yet broken serve. And remember, Sampras lost just four points on his delivery in the first set. Drake and rather more 12. But. Uh, I think Sampras is also a little bit worried about slipping and is, isn't really a, going 100% on the wide balls. No, I think he's playing within himself. But uh, of course, uh, there is always a danger that the, uh, the opponent, Drakeman, which he, has been the case, that he, he's risen to the occasion and he's playing some extremely fine tennis. Um, from Sampras's point of view, of course, uh, he probably is waiting for any opportunity that comes and hoping to take it, but knows that he's likely to be in a tie break. But as we know, the tiebreak uh, can change so very, very quickly. Just a little neck call, oh. uh, some questionable call, or something a little bit out of control can happen and affect uh, the score and the, and the result in the set. So it is a dangerous situation. So Sampras having to serve here to, uh, to stay in the set. Love 15. Fifteen all. <laughs> Good thing we're not, we don't have uh, net court judges these days. That would have gone right through his head, I think. Here's a complete miss hit. And we use a device which is attached to the top of the net, which bleeps. Forty fifty. No way back. A wrong footing volley <laughs> on the surface, just a little bit treacherous as the dew begins to fall. And the light is fading. Game Sampras. So Sampras very secure on serve. Five games all, second set. He's lost only three points on his serve in this set. That's quite remarkable. He's played five service games. So, neither man has yet broken the other. Drakeman has had three break points against him in this set and five in the first. Saved the lot. Great run by Sampras. 
Rose. Lovely pick. And since he comes up to the, the drop volley that's played by Drakeman, Sampras doesn't look as though he's going to make it, but he surprised Drakeman. circumstances that first volley of Drakeman's was absolutely brilliant because the return would have beaten many men Forced into error by the power of the Sampras return, and suddenly a break point, or two of them, in fact, that are virtual set points. Game Sampras. Sampras lead six games to five, second set, and by one set to love. And believe me, that is a very great relief to Sampras because after an hour and 11 minutes play, that's the very first break of serve in the match. Yes, and he played well, didn't he? Lots of good shots, very crisp shots, putting a lot of pressure on his opponent. His, the quality of, the, of his returns of the very highest order. And so from his point of view, I'm sure that he'll be wanting to get this match put away as quickly as possible. But the light is not good and it, of course there will be at least another set to be played and it remains to be seen whether they will even go into the third set should Sampras secure this but there's the the one break point which he's managed to secure he's had lots of opportunities but that really is a tribute to Drakeman who's played well on the break points so Sampras with an opportunity here, if he continues with his serving, as we've seen, to take the second set. 15 love. So solid on the volley, Sampras. Look how quickly he comes in. Well, that's what you try and do, keep the ball low to the incoming server. And he hasn't done this a whole lot today because Sampras has served so well. But that was brilliant. Thirty fifty. fortune too because it was uh, just a reflex shot and it worked 30 all first time in the match on Sampras's serve as he had to, with Sampras charging forward. And having missed it, Sampras now with the set point. Yes. Yes. 
the second set, Sampras. Seven games to five. New balls, please. New balls. He can't believe it. Neither of them can. A total gift. Sampras leads two sets to love. From Drakeman giving Sampras the set, literally giving it to him on a shot that should have been a winner. So after an hour and 14 minutes, nearly an hour and a quarter, two sets to love to Sampras, and I'm wondering if they're going to appeal about the light which is fading and or the state of the court surface, which at times is a bit slippery, but no, they're going to play on. Great point by Sampras, but look at this backhand. That really is actually almost f faster than the eye can see. One of the great shots we've seen in the tournament, that blistering. Out. 15 all. Fifteen thirty. Fault. Sampras knows that it was a fault. He'll tell Drakeman, I'm sure. Certainly, Kim Craven was right here. You said nothing. He said something, and then you say out. So this is the joke, really. I mean, he's number one. That's the thing. You have to be respect, but not like this. It's a joke. Well, there are players who think that the better players are favoured by the chair umpire. It isn't true, but uh, and that actually was wrong. <laughs> And the score now, 15-30. Well, he certainly played well under pressure, the slice they're keeping the ball low, but he handled it. 30 all. And got a great deal of applause as with it too. Oh. 40, 30. Good one, straight at the body, curling it in. Advantage, Drakeman. Another one of those games which started promisingly for Sampras, but unable to convert, so far at least. Oh. Oh, back turned down the line, absolute joy, perfect timing. Watching the ball like a hawk. Superb racket head control.
Advantage Sampras really showing us the, the level of his ability and the quality of his play. Break point. Great footwork there, making room, wasn't it? Well, yet again, Wakeman Duke. rises to the task, takes Sampras out wide one side and whips in a big forehand the other. Left for service. <clears throat> Game breaker. First game, third set. Sabres leads two sets to love. When you see the way Drakeman can withstand the pressure like Sampras, and he was under considerable pressure in that game, you have to think that he is a man of great potential. From the referee's department, really keeping a watchful eye, and we'll be also concerned about the footing of the players, which we have noticed with Sampras, just the odd little slip. So, uh, clearly at the moment, feels it's okay to continue. Jordan would have been proud of that one. Fifteen on. You see, he is occasionally now beginning to anticipate well that wide serve, which earlier in the match has won Sampras a lot of points. He served a number of aces there. 40-50. Mm. Now, will he do the slice wide again to the forehand? Uh, yes, to the forehand side of... Uh, Game Sampras. I've been guessing. One game all, third set. So the game's level in the third set. Sampras, two sets to love. Fifteen lives. Thirty lives. Thirty-fifty. 
40, 15. Bit of gardening going on. Both parties, 14, Sampras there showing a top spin backhand, forcing Dregman out wide. And look at that one from outside in with side slice on it, keeping the ball low, taking the racket back high, and the follow through to the right. Two sets to love. Because, Mark, the serves of both men have been so very effective today. As we've said, Sam is losing just four points on his serve in the first set, three in the uh, five in the second. And because one of the reasons why it's difficult for them to pick it up, they're varying it so well, aren't they? Yes, and you can see this is what Sampras has been receiving a variety of serves in, uh, uh, in e equally equally they're spaced around the service court so keeping always the receiver guessing there this is, this is and there's the direction of the Drakeman serve the 41 out wide in the advantage court that of course is to uh, Sampras's backhand Time. Trying to open the court so that he can then attack with either his forehand cross court or his backhand down the line, or even come into the net with a volley cross court. becoming the trademark of Pete Sampras and every time he does it gets a resounding Sampras. cheer. Game Sampras. <laughs> Two games all, third set. Totally dominated by the server this match nevertheless a very entertaining spectacle with some glorious returns good rallies we've had nine and ten stroke rallies Sampras is so effective, A, on the return, and then B, on the pass. He moves across, steps forward with his right leg, gets his weight on that, and then mm. rotates his body through the ball. Left for service. When you see Sampras thundering these backhands, it's hard to believe that he once had a two-handed backhand when he was a junior, he decided to change. At the suggestion of his coach then, Dr. Pete Fisher. 
the days when he lived in California. Brilliant. Again, you see Santos just raising his <laughs> game a touch. And look at the forehand pass on the run. Thirty all. Lampras carrying on today where he left off at the start of the week, it seems so long ago. A fine win in straight sets against Michael Tilström of Sweden. We thought then that he was warming to the task well, and he certainly looks pretty sharp again today. in this rally from Bregman on this forehand. Completely wrong footing, Pete Sampras. Hitting with deadly accuracy. Game break, man. Three games to two, third set. Sampras leads two sets to love. Well, I felt that Sampras was really making a, a push forward there to break the Drakeman serve, but Drakeman really has been rock solid, particularly at the back of the court, and whilst being subjected to all sorts of pressure, has responded magnificently, really showing us what a, a capable player he is. There's a serve, slice backhand, trying to keep the ball low, but he handles that well, Drakeman, with the top spin and then pushing Sampras from side to side. Sampras really having to move, working hard. Good play by this man. And uh, I feel he's really enjoying himself out there. Not, you wouldn't think, a natural grass court player. He, uh, it's a, a big serve, but it's a serve which is a fairly flat serve. It's not a serve with a great deal of spin or slice, but has competent volleys, good serve, but particularly sound ground strokes. And of course, he's playing here for the fourth time, and before this year, he'd never won a match. It's hard to believe, isn't it? That is it, absolutely. He lost last year to uh, Olhovsky, the Russian, I think, in four sets, and beat Patrick Fredrickson in the first round. And now uh, straight sets. But that picture there, you can see of the, the uh, commentary box, etc., at the back of the court, indicates r the, the true light on this centre court. Not uh, this court number one, not very good. Let's for service. Fifteen love. Waiting for the call that never came. And we're behind that line, and it certainly looked doubtful. I think that that's the most difficult line always under the umpire's chair to call. Well, he has two metres from it, but he's sitting beyond where the ball bounces. And the ball will mask the line, so it's awfully difficult to know whether it's hit or not. Thirty line. Up to 18 aces now, Sampras. Let for service. Go 
difficult for Drakeman to get too many points against the Sampras serve. Look how deep that volley is, and then the perfect little drop volley. Using the court to maximum effect. Fourteen fifteen. Ambitious even for Pete Sampras, this little angle drop volley. Allow Drakeman time to get up and play a relatively easy shot down the line. It's still 40-30. Game Sampras. Three games all, third set. So I wonder whether Sampras is going to make a big effort here to break the serve. I think if he wants to finish this match off today before the referee halts play for lack of light or perhaps a little bit of uh, moisture on the surface, the dew must be falling now. Fifteen. You see an extremely solid point from Drakeman as he comes into the net behind a good volley and the kill. 30 long. Forty lives. Four games to three. Third set. Sampras leads two sets to love. Mark, after all the frustration of the middle part of this week where the players have been sitting around uh, waiting and waiting and waiting for the rain to stop, it would be rather sad somehow for both of them if this match were not to finish tonight and again they have to resume a match tomorrow. I agree. Um, of course, from Drayton's point of view, uh, he really needs to, uh, he's got to win this set if he's going to stay in the match and I suspect it won't be finishing, obviously, if he wins it. Um, but how well he's played. What uh, amazes me is the players have, of course, been sitting around for so long now, for several days, and yet they can come out here and play to this level. It is absolutely superb. One break of serve in the entire match so far. Yet one feels that Sampras is well in control, and perhaps that is a little bit of an illusion. He's certainly been in control on his own serve, losing four points in the first set, five in the second, and so far three in this. Getting quite a lot of support. Three, four. Fifteen love. Let's watch how well Sampras deals with this low volley. Drakeman is going to give it to him, I think. Going to concede the button. No, he's not. He thought it was an ace, but uh, yes, the ball was good, says Drakeman. That's very, very sporting indeed. Just explaining to the linesman there that in fact it was it. That's very sporting. Forty life. Of course, that kindly gesture, making it a 19th ace for Sampras. Oh. 
40-50. Well, one good turn deserves another, doesn't it? James Ampers. Four games all, third set. So we're getting to the business end of this set now. Sampras will strive here to break the Drakeman serve, so it's up to Drakeman to keep up the momentum. He served very well this set, surviving a very long first game, but thereafter never pressed. Delightful play here. Lovely the power from the backhand and a little half volley touch shot from Pete Sampras and the response just out. Fifteen all. Full marks to Drakeman there, unleashing a powerful what's called forehand. Thirty fifteen. Why, for example, and I agree. Good. He's seen Sampras a little bit unsure of his foothold, and a drop shot there might have just done the job for him. But just the hint of danger now, 30 all. Oh, 40 30. Just missed. Nothing he could have done about it. Deuce. Advantage Drakeman. And here it is again for you. It certainly looked wide, didn't it? Sam was worried that the call of wide hadn't come, called about down that sideline, but uh, I wonder if he'd masked the lines person. They should have indicated that he had. Hands over eyes is the customary signal. Deuce. Advantage Sampras. Well, the remarkable thing really is that here is the man ranked 78 in the world, according to the computer, playing the world number one, but he's played so well in the crises of this match, losing himself only once, but here's another break point. That's brilliant stuff. So it's the serve that sets this up. It's a defensive response. Look how high the ball is going over the net. And a relatively easy forehand, but he had to give it a good hit. Well played. Oh. 
advantage Drakeman. So this now equals the longest game of the match, which was the first game of this third set. Drakeman holding, Ben. Oh, deuce. Well, I wonder if the light is making it difficult for the lines people to see, because, again, it seemed to be long, this serve, and Sampras thought so. Drakeman, I think, perhaps, expecting to hear the call of fault, Fluffing that relatively easy backhand. Advantage Strakeman. Testing the toss on his serve there. Oh. And we'd like to see why. One of the world is deserved. Jane Drakeman, the ball splits, the ball. Drakeman leads five games to four, third set. Sampras leads two sets to love. Well, Mark, you'd have to give Drakeman full marks on that service game. Yes, he's a survivor, isn't he? <laughs> he's uh, was the longest game of the match and uh, we've had a couple of long games in this set and on both occasions there have been break points which he's managed to survive with good play too it's not as though that uh, Sampras has played poorly or anything like that but he's just responded and risen to the occasion it's somewhat ironic though in a way that uh, Sampras actually won seven points in the one game whereas Drakeman barely has won seven points on Sampras's serve in the entire match so in the point stake Rick Cleary, Sampras has won many more than uh, his German opponent. But uh, the scoring system of tennis is such that Drayton is ahead 5-4 in this third set. Fifteen left. Got a broken string, have we? Sounded a bit like it. They'll have what half a dozen or so strung frames in the. This is what did it in their bags. Lovely action that is, isn't it? Effortless flowing and wonderful wrist snap. So 15 love. 30 love. In the right place. Forty love. Look how easily Sampras plays that volley. Plenty of space, no risk. Game Sampras. Five games all, third set. So poor Drakeman, he's struggled mightily in this match to hold his own serves at times. Done very well, but he's had no show at all on the Sampra serve. Oh. 
Hi, please. Fifteen up. Thirty long. Right up the body. That's one of the toughest returns to make. With a bit of curl on it as well. Thirty fifty. The depth of the approach shot and how well Sampras was able to control the power and find the angle. So a glimmer of a chance for Sampras, 30 all. Oh, that's another opportunistic chance by Sampras taking. 30, 40. And the great players make something out of nothing, which is what Sampras did there, off a good approach, forcing the error and a break point. Sampras leads six games to five, third set, and by two sets to love. The world number one showing us why he holds that position. A brilliant finish to a game he was determined to win. He has four straight points, and uh, I, at the end of it, Drakeman, I think, looked up at the umpire in awe, really, at the quality of the last rally. Let's have another look at it. It's the serve into the backhand. It's a relatively short response. A good forehand finding the angle just inside the line and a defensive response keeping Drakeman back. And now look, the running forehand and the angle with power just inside the line. A superb point just when he needed it to break the serve for the second time and put him in the position now to serve out for the match. Gathercole, the assistant referee, keeping an eye on things here, hoping, I'm sure, for the tournament's sake, that Sampras will hold here. It's a good return. He gets it right at the feet of Sampras. It was the top spin. Still going for his shots, this man. Oh, there was a poor shot. Love thirty. One of his worst follies today. Amazing. And for the first time, he's love thirty on his serve. This hasn't happened before.
Oh, good turning. This is what the great players Batillon. can do when they're in trouble. They find a good first serve. Drakeman having no idea where that was going. Two points from the win. Let for service. So at last, Sampras, the number one seed, takes himself to match point. And he's going to set a match. Sampras, three sets to long. 7 6, 7 5, 7 5. Well, a very professional job by the best professional in the world, according to to the rankings. The number one player, number one seed here again this year. Pete Sampras has done it. 7 6, 7 5, 7 5 against Henrik Dreekman of Germany in an hour and 57 minutes. And I think relief all round. Ladies and gentlemen, when leaving your seats now, please remember to take all your belongings with you.